Let's take a look at this Ohio Steel 48 CP after I got some use on it now. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check out the previous video where I assembled this thing. It'll be uh, linked down below here. Um, you can see it does have some use on it. I got about four or five lawns on this thing now. As you can see how deep it's going by the bore off paint there. Um, These tines, I don't know if I showed it real well in the video, but they're spring-loaded. Um, all 40 of them. There's 40 tines on here. Um, in the assembly video, I did mention that these just have plastic bushings on them. And from the factory, there's no grease fittings in any of these spools. So I went through in all five spools. I drilled and tapped them and put a grease fitting in all five. You can see it there on that one. Um, the other thing I mentioned in that video I didn't like is this side plate here and this first spool. It's metal against metal. There's no plastic washer there. I would like to see a plastic washer there as well as between this spool and this, or this spool and this foot lever here is also assist metal on metal. Um, same thing on this side between that foot lever there and that outside side plate. Um, as far as that's concerned, the tines in that, I haven't had any problems with them. I would like to see Ohio Steel. Um, they give you just enough tines and springs and pins and clips to put this together. There is no extras. I would like to see them throw you know, an extra one or two tines in there, maybe one or two of these springs, and maybe one or two of these pins and clips. I and mean, that's something that's going to wear out. Them springs are eventually going to start cracking and busting just from the wear. These tines, if you hit a rock with them, they do bend over. Um, I think it'd be nice if they gave some extra of them. My other complaint about this thing is that hitch is way too short. When you got it behind the lawnmower, you can't back up with this thing unless you're backing up perfectly straight. If you're trying to back around a curved wall or something like that, forget about it. It ain't going to happen. That hitch isn't long enough. Um, these tires seem to hold up pretty good, even with 200 some pounds of weight on that tray. I mean, I've ran this thing down the road between two different lawns already. And it held up just fine, didn't blow a tire out. <laughs> um, the other thing that came off already is, as you've seen in that video, that grip tape was half-assed put on or beat up in shipping. That about the third time I pushed the foot pedal down, it came off. So the other thing is, is if you got if you got 200 pounds of weight up here, and this thing is in the ground yet, I'm 150 pounds, so. I gotta get both feet on this foot lever to pop it up out of the ground and overcome the 200 pounds of weight. And once in a while doing that, it'll go past center and this foot lever will stick down where you can't get it up. Um, so either way to do it is reach down and pull it up. If you can't pull it up, just hop back on the lawnmower, pull forward a little bit and it'll flip up by itself. It's just a little annoyance factor every now and then. The so things I would change about this thing is obviously them giving you extra tines and springs. I am personally going to cut this hitch apart and add about another foot onto it so you can back up with it. Foot, foot and a half, we'll see what works. The other thing that I'm doing just because I'm kind of a weird person is I don't like hopping on and off the lawnmower to pick that up and down, especially when you get in a small lawn where you don't want to run over the same spot repeatedly. Um, so what I've made is I'm making side plates. I drilled a couple extra holes in this side here for this to bolt on. And then what it's going to do onto that is I got two of these little 12 volt actuators that are going to mount here and are going to go down to this little lever that the wheel's mounted on. 
and hopefully, if everything works good, I should be able to pick and raise and lower this from the lawnmower without hopping on and off. Um, I think that'd be a cool kit for actually Ohio Steel to offer. I mean, maybe make it a $200 add-on kit. This is supposed to be a professional grade aerator. I'm pretty sure these professional guys don't like hopping on and off their lawnmowers the same as I don't. Um, so I think it'd be kind of cool to see them offer something like that. Some brackets built up with electric actuator that you could wire it up to your lawnmower with a switch. Would be a cool add-on. I'm sure they'd have a lot of people take advantage of it too. But that's kind of my thoughts on this thing. Just a few things I would like to see changed. But overall, the way this is built, if you don't plan on backing up with it, it's a tank. I know for a fact I had over 200 pounds of weight on it and it did it just fine. I wanted to overload it to see how it would do it. Um, not that much else I can say about it. I just wish they would change them a couple things. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. And be sure to click that subscribe button, you know, the one that's down here. And if you haven't checked it out yet, be sure to check out my video on assembling this thing. I'll also link that down here. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.